different cones for different things. You've got to have these. All these different cones. Why do I use this little cone? So I can get down to do that little intricate work. Right? So you have this cone, so I can this all around work. But and then you have this cone, you see the teeth on that, so you can comb through it. So you gotta have the tools in order to get through the air. Does that make sense? You so when that you do the, when the black little cone, this one demonstrate here. what this this guy yeah. here? That's the barber cone. Okay. And where do you use that on the head? Well, let's say I'm doing some real delicate little work around here. Uh -huh. And let's say that there's a little shadow. Well, I can come in with this little tool and do it. Rather than come in with this tool and try to get it, I can get closer with this tool because of the thinness of the tool. Mm -hmm. As it goes from, from up here to down, really nice little intricate work, so you're able to do the little intricate work. Have you ever taken a clipper and you put the guard on it and you do a guy's hair and you, and you shave him up and then you look in the mirror and you see that little shadow? Mm -hmm. You've done that? See that? Okay, so God didn't make a perfect head, so he's got these little bumps and stuff. And so when you take the clipper up, you went up like that. Yes, you got a little blotch here and up there. And you look in the mirror and say, wow, there's a little little blotch. Then you would take this type of comb and then you would be able to, to, to just maybe it's a sixteenth of an inch, mm -hmm. and you're able to trim it out because it's that little hollow. So where you took that clipper, mm -hmm. and you got that little indentation right there where he's got that bump in his head, right. you, know, mm -hmm. you gotta get that out, so take the shadow out. Mm -hmm. These tools, what is this? A vent brush. A vent brush, right? What does this create? Volume, right? Mm -hmm. Creates volume, okay? What is this brush here? That's a finishing brush. What does this brush do? So long hair like mine, run this brush through. You ever notice when you rush, run this type of brush through your hair? What happens to the cuticle? Let's say your hair is a little bit on the on the drier side. Okay, so what it does, it brings that cuticle. You ever look at a cuticle and you've seen it in in, 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 in your books, it's how the cuticle is structured. It, and if, if it's dry, it kind of flares out a little bit. So it just, what it does, it just kind of smooths it out with this brush. Okay, so now I have two, what kind of brush is this? It's a Deadman brush, right? A Deadman. So I create my own tools for different textures of hair. So what I've done with this particular brush is I pulled it out and <coughs> removed these things to create a new tool for myself. All right? So now, same brush, but this is created differently. Why did I do this? Because if you look at the hair as to how it travels, okay, this hair just barely just doesn't have this zigzag, right? This one here, you hit boom, 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 and it, so it, it has a zigzag. So working with someone's hair, say, it, it's easier. So you're not fighting it. 